Dimitri. Uh, hey, thanks for the amazing lecture. That was actually really informative. I learned a lot and I'm still processing everything in my head. We've heard a lot about um, the accreditation that we've just achieved at, at MIT and I think it's pretty cool, especially with all of the things that you're highlighting about the AMI. What does the accreditation actually mean for MIT? Well, it's something, it's a and congratulations to MIT. It's, it's, a, it's a way to have a source of pride that the actual stuff that students are learning or prospective students will learn is industry relevant. They've, they've not gone about writing content or using a textbook for everything. Um, like a lot of programs traditionally were, they've said, you know what, we're going to go back to the drawing board, we're going to speak to industry and find out what the employers actually want our students to be learning. That's really cool and as more lectures are happening and more learning is made, it's, it's forming a, a bigger picture of what the world, I suppose, is like after university. Yeah. Um, regarding that, would you have any tips to I suppose, pass on to graduates and people still studying regarding first steps once you leave university on? I would advise even before you leave university is identify a few people to potentially be a mentor and go out there and approach them and have a coffee with them and say to them what your goals are to when you finish and you graduate and whether they would consider mentoring you so it's you'll find that a lot of people that are quite experienced in the profession reach a stage where they actually want to give back so find those people identify them LinkedIn is very powerful this for this or through the Emerging Markets Victoria program and build that relationship and find a useful mentor. So it sounds like there was a lot of um, while you were increasing your own expertise and abilities on the job, there was a lot of sort of research happening in the background into yes. uh, areas in the market where there was a gap and something could have filled, which is essentially what we're learning a lot about. Yeah, so uh, I was very fortunate when I was starting a law firm and working on the marketing for them and other law firms that I also was doing a dual master's degree and one of the specialisations was public relations and I chose to have a special focus on the area of crisis management and litigation. So that's one thing I would recommend to any students, whether you can work with other companies or intern stuff, do it whilst you're studying because the only way that you'll fully immerse yourself and learn what you're doing is through learning on the job. So. Uh, if you can't do that, I recommend to all students that when you're learning about concepts, think about examples of where these things can be applied. It will make your studies far more relevant and far more easy to understand and remember the concepts that you've been taught. You've got a bright future ahead of you, so congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, Dimitri.